Hi everybody, hope you all are doing super fantastic. So this video is going to be a review video on the new Julep DD Cream and DD Concealer. A lot of you have asked me to do this video when I showed these in my last uh, haul video and I received these products in my June Julep box. Um, well, if you don't already know what a Julep box is, check out the description box to know how to get your um, first trial version of a Julep box for free. And um, you can also check out my uh, Julep playlist. I'll put the link to all my uh, Julep videos in the description box below so you can check out those videos and know more about uh, Julep box. Julep is primarily a nail polish exclusive box but recently they've branched out to making these foundations and um, primers, lipsticks and all that stuff. So they are working on growing their brand right now and uh, part of it are uh, the DD cream and DD concealer. So let's get into the review. First of all, Julep has marketed these products as DD cream and DD concealer. I'm not seeing any brand calling their products as DD. I've seen BB creams, they're very popular. I've seen CC creams from Olay and some other brands but I've not seen any brand uh, calling their products as DD cream. So that's the first thing which has drawn me to this products and I thought this would be interesting and something new. So first I'll talk about the DD cream um, and uh, the packaging is kind of standard, nothing so new, it's just a tube form and you get 28 grams of product which is 1 ounce and uh, this originally retails for $36 on their website but if you are a Maven you can get it for $28.80. Um, yeah, it's kind of pricey right next thing is the shade range this comes in four shades light medium medium dark and dark and i ordered medium dark um and it's a tad bit darker for my skin tone and i can't order medium because um, that gets too light for me so i can't ask for more shade range because um i don't know why most of the brands they don't make much shades for these bb creams or whatever ddcc zz creams they don't sh uh, make much shades um so uh, four shades it's kind of standard for all these creams so yeah that's it so the next thing is uh what the product says uh it says it's beyond bb cream moisturizes primes spf 25 anti-aging uh ingredients lightweight buildable reduces pores and fine lines and ultra smooth finish so that's what it says um and uh, i'll show you a little clip of uh, how this product performs on my skin and i'll uh, get right back to you and uh, let you know what i think about it So now that you have seen the demo, I'll just read out what exactly it says on the tube. This lightweight damage diminishing formula delivers dewy, buildable coverage to moisturize, prime and perfect, provides daily defense from UV rays and dramatically decreases the look of pores and fine lines, nourishing hibiscus and olive extracts, add a double dose of hydration. So coming to what I think about this product, it's um, definitely a very lightweight uh, cream. It blends into my skin like a usual moisturizer and on the packaging, it says to reapply every two hours, which I don't really like like and it has a SPF 25 so I think they are just telling us to treat this product as a sunscreen which has some 
coverage and all that stuff and I'm not really comfortable reapplying this product on my skin every two hours um, and uh, this is not a buildable cream as it says it definitely is not buildable I try to reapply this uh, on my blemishes and see if this covers it anything but it did not so it's not a buildable uh, cream even if I apply a second coat it just blends into my skin and just looks the same as the first coat uh, it gave me a very light coverage uh, it has took away my hyperpigmentation or stuff like that but but it did not give me any uh, coverage or my blemishes or something like that so um, I don't really judge any foundation or a cream based on how it covers my blemishes because I know I have uh, a lot of acne and blemishes and scarring and stuff so um, when it says it's a DD cream I already know that it's not going to cover anything so that's not what I was expecting from this cream but um, it did a good job so coming to the most important part on how it uh, works on my oily skin it, it's kind of okay I'm really impressed about that um, it stays on my skin for at least three four uh, hours when I'm in the Sun so which is very good right I don't really expect that uh, from a DD cream uh, performing well on my oily skin it does look shiny on my skin um, after one hour but it's not you know oily um, so I'm kind of okay if it uh, looks shiny because it's a DD cream it has a SPF so I can't expect it to be matte um, so yeah it, it's kind of okay um, yeah I, I, it's not definitely a holy grail product um, but it's kind of good it can be worked and um, yeah that's my review on the cream let's move on to the DD concealer Moving on to the DD concealer, uh, first of all the packaging is just the same as the DD cream, just a little tube, um, um, just a squeezy tube and that's it and uh, the worst part is this is just 3 grams of product, that's 0.11 ounce, it's almost empty, the tube is so big and you have to literally squeeze on the top of the tube to get a little bit of product so you're getting almost, I must say just few uses for $32 yes the price of this product is $32 and if you are a Maven you get it for $25.60 very 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 expensive just go get a MAC uh, concealer if you are thinking of getting this because yeah just 0.11 ounces for $32 that's just a bummer when I received this product I received a empty empty absolutely empty um, tube and then I contacted the company and said that I received an empty tube she said no 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 it's not empty you have just a little bit of product in it and I was surprised I paid $32 and you get a huge tube which doesn't have any product in it so they sent me another tube um, and uh, I've seen a lot of people who got the June Julep box uh, say that they received empty uh, tubes. So I think they've not checked properly if the tubes really have the product in it. So that's the worst part. So for $32, you're just going to get a very, very, very little product that is 0.11 ounce. Um, and I must say this is a heavy duty concealer uh, you just need a very little uh, amount of product to cover your dark circles or your blemishes I'll show you a little demo on uh, how this uh, concealer performs and I'll let you know what I think about this So this concealer comes in three different shades, light, medium and dark and I ordered the medium and it's kind of 
uh, a little light for my skin so the foundation which is medium dark is a little dark and the uh, concealer which is medium is a little light for my skin so that's where I stand in terms of the shade range of this uh, products so what this product claims to do is disguises and blemishes eliminates discoloration redness and blemishes and um, erase dark circles discoloration and other skin flaws this concentrated concealer is formulated with antioxidants to protect delicate and damaged areas and light diffusing soft focus powders to reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines. So that's what uh, the product claims to do and what I think about this product is um, it's a very nice uh, concealer. It is a heavy duty concealer, definitely heavy duty. You need a very little product to uh, cover your under eyes and uh, your blemishes. So uh, it's definitely a heavy duty concealer. And the best part is it sets into a powder finish. So once you blend into your skin, you absolutely will not feel anything happening on your skin. It just blends into your skin and stays like that as a powder, so which is very good. But if you are someone who has dry skin and uh, dry patches on your skin, definitely stay away from this because it definitely shows up because once you apply a powder on those dry patches it tends to show up more so yeah if you have dry skin just stay away from this I have fine lines uh, under my eyes and uh, once this concealer sets as a powder it just gets into your uh, fine lines and uh, wrinkles and uh, end up showing them more so this is a very nice uh, heavy duty concealer which sets as a powder so you don't feel uh, much product on your skin and the best part is if it sets as a powder it's definitely good for oily skin right that's what any oily skin person would think i need a powder i need something which is matte on my skin so that's the reason i love this product it's very good for my um uh, to cover my blemishes and uh, yeah i really like this product but i don't really like the fact that you get very little amount of product for what twenty six dollars if I'm a Maven and if I have if I'm not a Maven I have to get it for thirty two dollars so that's a bummer uh, I will not definitely repurchase this product but I really love this product until I have this in my collection so now that you've seen the review and uh, the little demo I gave uh, you can judge these products yourself and uh, think if you want to get it or not uh, I will not definitely repurchase these products because these uh, to me are too expensive and the next thing is these are not the perfect shade range for me but these just work fine and uh, I really like this concealer but it's not a right shade for me and the next thing is it's too expensive for what I'm getting so I will not repurchase this product as well um, so yeah that finishes my review and I'll see you in my next video bye bye